All right, what's up, guys? And welcome back to Assassin's Creed Revelations. I actually didn't play the last episode, the first episode of this game, probably the most important one. I just didn't even put on my glasses. If you didn't know, my vision is terrible. And I didn't even realize how incredibly crisp this game is in comparison to Brotherhood. And of course, knowing that Brotherhood is much uh, graphically more enhanced than Assassin's Creed 2 and then 2 better than 1 and so on. I just did not realize this game actually looks insanely incredible. I mean, we are playing 4K max settings and stuff like that. But then again, this game is about 10 years old and it looks so darn good. This is an extremely random intro and I apologize, but I just thought I'd throw that out there. I'm excited to be back. Yes, the daily Assassin's Creed vids have returned and uh I actually forgot the name of this place that the game is taking place in. It's It's got a really strange name that I even looked it up before starting. So I can kind of sound somewhat intellectual and know what the hell I'm talking about. But I already forgot. So why am I even going to lie to you guys, right? But we are here. I love this scenery. Maybe my favorite one so far, like the area, just because I'm such a huge part of like the tropical scene. And um, that's why I'm so excited to play Assassin's Creed 4. So I love the whole tropical tropical vibes and shit like that pirates and all that stuff even though this is not necessarily that but there's a lot more ocean and anyways we are here and it says press b to uh take a boat to the imperial district and that is where we are headed in the beginning of this episode on the attack the galata den is now secure but yusuf has not returned from his fight go to the imperial oh shoot <gasps> is that so Ezio, come meet my new friends. Did I just got here? What are you? What are you talking about? Like, not even gonna warn me? Okay, so press RT and RT when an enemy tries to attack to perform a what? Wait, let me see what that does. Oh, he just threw sand in his eyes. Okay, well, never mind. So RT and B does something else. I gotta try that you out. Fight like a man late for his own wedding. See, si. by about twenty-five years, I was too late to save the bazaar then, unfortunately. But now that my army has doubled in size, we'll take it back together. This way. When the Templars take control of a district, they flaunt their presence, hanging banners, extorting the merchants. It's a constant battle to keep them at bay. And they rub our noses in every victory. They are quite bold. Why does the Sultan tolerate this? Sultan Bayezid is far away, Ezio. Warring with his son Selim, many Fersa northwest of the city. He has been away for years, at least since the earthquake. And maybe even before. He is blind to all this turmoil. Ah, but your eyes are open, see? Hem de Tashigibi. Believe it. So, okay, wait, where are we headed right now? Too many to engage directly. Yeah, I am not confident a smoke bomb will help us here. Smoke bomb? Ezio, it's time you Italians joined the 16th century. These do not obscure, they distract. So I wanted to say one thing that, oh, that is cool. One thing that really pains me to see is how you see they can't resist. Let's move. How Ezio is so old in you this are game. Full of surprises today. Crafting explosives is a new hobby, one we borrowed from the Chinese and have taken to with great passion. You will have to teach me. Uh, who is the mentor here, <laughs> Ezio? I'm beginning to wonder. <laughs> I was gonna say it pains to see me uh, it pains to see Ezio get tired after just a simple battle with like three guards like you can tell he's so much older here it's it, it, it's one of those games that you know his his end days are, are near you know I mean honestly I, I honest to God I have no idea if he dies or if he doesn't I want to say he does maybe your turn. Make me proud. 
The only reason I say that is because some of you have been telling me to watch the Embers trailer that concludes the story. So I want to say maybe within that trailer, something happens to him. Um, anyways, press RB. Hold on. Uh, to open the weapon, we want to select the bomb. I don't want this, man. Ah, oh, shit. The cherry bomb. I don't want anything to happen to this dude. Just hold Y to aim your bomb manually. I'm just kind of prepared for what's to happen. I'll throw it over there. Time to go. That has got to be the most useful freaking piece of tool. There they go. In this game so far. Oh, you have no idea how good it feels to not have to. Hurry. We're nearly there. Blend with other people and shit. We're gonna zip line again. Oh yeah. No. Okay. Never mind. <clears throat> this is another of our many dens <clears throat> taken by Templars, as you can see. Somewhere among this rabble is a Templar captain. Kill him. Then climb the tower and light their signal fire. This warns the Templars that it is time to pack up and go. Bene. You create a distraction. I will send them home. Templars commandeer one of our dens. They leave a captain in charge. Search the area carefully, and you might see him strutting about like a peacock. Okay. Use those legendary senses of yours, Ezio, and scan the streets. You'll find our target. Okay, so press. Use Eagle Sense aim at suspect for a few seconds to identify your target. Oh, I didn't even know you could do that. Oh. Kill the Templar captain. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna take this guy out right here. We don't want to make any sudden movements, just in case. Oh, why can't I kill him from here? Oh, shoot. Hold on. Now that this guy left, I'm gonna jump up here. <laughs> he left over there. What an idiot. And that leaves me with just the captain. Ooh Do not create any conflict. In the Imperial North District. Light the retreat signal at the top. So this is actually uh, pretty similar to Brotherhood. Where you have to light the towers up and stuff like that. Oh, God. Listen here. I'm an older man. No longer in my prime. I need no fighting involved. Please. But I guess if you want to fight, then a fight I shall give you. Let's try out that move they were trying to teach us. Oh, my God. Oh my goodness. Ezio is still the one and only. That was cool. That was cool. That was actually pretty friggin' cool. This is Yusuf. Yeah, this is actually what we had to do a lot of in Brotherhood. 
light it on fire and then jump off. I just realized there's only there's only two uh, 22 uh, sync points in this game or in this world. It's actually not a lot. So Istanbul, that is where we are I'm at. I'm seeing very strange activity in the Animus. Oh? The CPU should be fairly idle, but the system monitor is spiking regularly, sometimes as high as 85%. Is it serious? I'm not sure. Desmond's signs are stable. Well, if there isn't a problem, let's not try to fix anything. Fair enough. God, I need a drink. My good old pal Ezio. Sixteen? Desmond, think about this. What if I went with you? With me? Where? It could work. Just for a while. Until I found a way out. Another body, maybe, or a... I don't know. I just... I don't want to be here anymore. That's... That's not going to happen. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> I guess I had my chance. <laughs> and I wasted it. What just happened? Were they close? Desmond and Lucy? I mean, closer than friends? Uh, well, there was the occasional misty-eyed moment, but... Uh... She liked him, Bill. That's what she told me. Hmm. Interesting. That's it? Just interesting? I spent a lot of time training each other when they were younger. She was a remarkable woman. I just find this whole situation quite sad. Sad? Are you finally getting soft on us, Bill? Hmm. It's funny how he Rabia, can hear everything. Constantinopoli, called Istanbul by the Turks, has welcomed me as one of its own. The assassins here, led by an affable fighter named Yusuf, take great pride in their city, a place as diverse and colorful as one could imagine. But it is a troubled city, too. A rebellious faction of Byzantine Templars still fights to retain influence, and their recent attacks have delayed my search for the Masyaf Keys. But this will not last. As soon as I am able, I will begin looking for Nicolo Polo's former trading post. In search of clues that will bring me nearer to the Master of Keys. I love how he writes to his sister all the time and shit. <laughs> oh man, everybody gets old. That sucks. How did we do? We have won the day and recovered that den. But we lost a few friends in this fight. So much death for so little gain. You have some experience recruiting new assassins, do you not? More than a little. The people here are quite sick of these Templar attacks. Can you turn on your charms and find us a few more recruits? See, si. but this den will not do for training them. Not this soon. A good point. Speak with one of my men in Galata after you are finished. He can help you begin their training. Alright, so we are... New items unlocked at the blacksmith. At the tailor shop. So I don't have... Can we change... New items unlocked? Let me see. Can I actually change... I'm, I'm starting to wonder... Inventory, armor. No, that's the same one. Outfits. 
Turkish assassin. Atayir's robes. Oh, armor of Brutus. Should we go with one of these? What do you guys think? Should we use... Should we just leave the outfits, the standard outfits? What do you think? I feel like it'll be more original to the story. I think we're just going to leave them on. One thing I've also noticed uh, within the recent Assassin's Creed games is that... Remember in Assassin's Creed 1, how many of those like roof hideouts there were? Like those things right there, right in front of us? To kind of hide away from the enemies? They've very, very much reduced the amount of those things in... Um, in the recent games we've been playing we saw a little bit of a reduction in assassin's creed 2 and then in brotherhood and in this one there's barely any of them which is good i thought they were a little bit overwhelming to be honest oh shit what is this free the prisoners per se are you a compassionate man if any can you help me that i stole fruit from a vendor i will not deny only because my hunger has trumped my honesty. Bring me the key to these chains, and I will repay you tenfold. Okay, so a man has been arrested for stealing food. Wait right here. <laughs> uh, obviously. <laughs> Wait right here. Don't move the cage anywhere. Oh, man. I think Etu has lost a... I think Ezio has lost his common sense after old age. And I've said this already, but I'm going to say it again. I love, love, love this, like, this city. It's so rich in life. I freaking love it, dude. I know that man. He's quite well armed. No, I know that man. Oh, get jokes on! Oh, damn it. I screwed up. Free the prisoner. Oh, shoot. Press uh, and locate your target in gold. I already did that. Didn't I already kill him? Oh, come on, guys. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? I'm Ezio Aditore da Firenze. Okay, you guys are fighting each other? Okay, I'll be on my way. That was a good distraction. Oh shit. You humble me, offend him. I will return to the merchant I robbed and show him the same kindness. After you have cleared your conscience, amigo, consider joining our cause. To be an honest man, one needs honest work. I would be honored. Saul. Okay, so. Pickpocket the guard and retrieve the key. And I think I screwed up by killing him. <laughs> I believe we had to come to the headquarters. I think this is the headquarters. Yeah, it is. Or is it? Have we been here before? Yeah, it is. Wait. Den leader. So one of your assassins has gained enough experience to lead... One of your assassin's dens. The den leaders can progress through the ranks of master assassin after performing unique missions with you. Once assigned as a den leader, that assassin will be linked permanently to that den. Choose wisely. Oh. Are you sure you want to assign the assassin as a den leader? Send assassin. I mean, yeah. I'll talk to your apprentice. Listen here, you little bitch. You're gonna listen to me, you understand? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> the Sentinel Part 1. This apprentice is concerned about some suspicious activity in the district. Hear what he has to say. Mentor, we have a problem. A great many assassins have disappeared in recent months, and I believe I know why. Disappeared? Do you mean they have been killed? I fear so, but there is no time to explain. Hide in the park west of here and wait for me to arrive. You shall see for yourself. Hmm. Well, this looks really nice. Dark and gloomy. Let me get my throwing knives out. Where are my throwing knives? 
Poison blade, hook blade. So I don't think I've asked you, um, I've asked you guys exactly, but w where is it that you guys think, considering that you guys are, you know, Assassin's Creed fans and stuff like that, what Assassin's Creed game is it that you think that the series fell off? Like, what was the last game that you thought was a true, true Assassin's Creed game? Because honestly, what I hear nowadays is just... Oh, the game was simply just an RPG game and it's no longer an Assassin's Creed game. I get it. These are, they do feel different. But I'm just curious. I knew it. I knew it. Take this one out. Now, yep, just like the the last one. If if they if you use your assassins, they gain experience. Uh, don't go anywhere. Or we're supposed to. Okay, well, never mind. Sharpen your senses. There is a danger here I do not fully understand. You keep watch, and I will have a look around. Press the left the eagle sense to use it. And aim at a suspect for a few seconds to identify the target. This. I do not like the look of this. Who the hell is that? Is that my apprentice? Or is that the other guy? Follow that man. No, that is not my apprentice. Only a guilty man runs with such speed. Ah, oh, I should have taken the rooftop. You gotta get the rooftops. Oh my god. Oh shit. Look at this assassin wannabe. What an imposter. You're not a real assassin. Top beat a hot. Ally dead. What? Let me take these guys out before they kill. There we go. <laughs> Are you injured? My pride is wounded. And now my heart is heavy. That man, his name is Vari. He was an assassin once. He has obvious skill and a score to settle. Evet, until that man is caught or killed, I fear none of us will be safe in this city. And until you are properly trained, I will not let you go head to head with a killer as deadly as this man. Let us focus on further honing your skills first. Hmm. 
So, Mediterranean defense. Send your assassins to conquered cities. Mediterranean uh, defense features allows you to send assassins to perform missions in cities throughout the Mediterranean region. You can undermine the Templars by freeing these cities from their influence. When a city has been reclaimed, the assassins will establish a permanent presence here. This will unlock options to help develop it, to help develop it and make it prosper. Templar agents, however, will attempt to retake their lost cities and may even launch a massive attack if you're not careful to maintain influence over the city. Okay, so Templar control 100%. Bursa, the little prince. So what is uh choose a level 11 assassin and press a to assign him to a mission press y to send your assassin to this mission you're about to send these recruits on a contract they will be unavailable for an unknown period of time any damage not that i can see byzantine templars may be bad hosts but are decent tenants once they capture a location they like to keep it intact because they intend to stay well, as promised, if you want to learn how to craft your own bombs, I can show you. Ah, 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 don't touch that. One wrong move and bang, the building comes down. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Look on your face. <laughs> Here, I'll show you. So we're going to learn how to craft bombs. We craft our bombs from a combination of three parts. The shell, the gunpowder, and the primary ingredient. Okay, so we've got Sometimes the impact. Sometimes we add a few extras too, for fun. Fuse. But we'll come to that later. For now, focus on these elements. And test the bomb. Oh. We'll tap wire to drop a bomb. Like so. <laughs> you guys are stupid. Here you go, big guy. How about you eat that bomb? Bro, look at this. We got 99 bombs. Imagine that. Okay, hold on. So... I guess it wants me to hide here. Oh, God! That's... Was not the intention. Oh, come on, guys. Here, I'll just walk around and... Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, I got it. That was fun. Okay, so craft the bomb. Okay, now select add a bomb and press A to add more bombs into your pouch. You'll find many ingredients for bomb recipes scattered throughout the city. So keep your eyes open and your nose to the ground as you move about. That should keep me busy. Grazie, Yusuf. Have you ever seen this book? Uh, no. It's a journal? Si. The Secret Crusade by Niccolo Polo. A Marcos father? I found this on a Templar in Masyaf. It mentions the five keys to Altair's library. Niccolo brought them here and hid them. Ah, and the Templars know this, so it's a race against time. They found one already. Beneath top couple. I want to recover it and find the other four. So, where will you begin? The old Polo trading post, I think. They ran a business in this area, no? I believe so. Speak with a man named Piri Reis in the bazaar. He can point you in the right direction. And teach you a few more bomb recipes, if you are so inclined. Hey, you shouldn't be up here. Leave! All right, we have arrived, ladies and gentlemen. Very rare. I 
think I have seen some of your earliest work. This? <laughs> Did Yusuf Tazim send you? That sounds like one of his exaggerations. See, si. he said you could show me the location of Nicolo Polo's former trading post. Ah, you must be that Florence he's been yammering on about. Uh, Lothario? Ezio. <laughs> I don't hear the difference. Yes, the old Polo shop. It's just west of Aya Sofia. Here. Grazie. Yusuf also mentioned that you were the man to talk to about specialty bombs. <laughs> ah, that man. He is a talker. A vet. I'm a navigator in the Sultan's Navy. Currently on leave to study cartography. But through my soldiering, I've also gained an appreciation for artillery and explosives. And it has served the assassins well. It gives us a... an edge. I carry many kinds of bombs. For assassins only, of course. Lethal, tactical, diversionary, and a few peculiar casings. Everything you see here is for sale. If you can prove you know how to use it first, I am eager to learn. Well, no one is stopping you. Just let me know. Okay. So, <clears throat> this is where we come to buy bombs of all sorts. Phosphorus is used in tactical smoke bombs to create a dense black smoke perfect for obscuring kills and hiding escapes. Oh. All right, let's try this bomb out. So if I tap it. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, and they also kind of start choking on it as well. And we can kill them from here too. Okay. <laughs> I like that bomb. Um... We're gonna craft it. So we can probably do three of this and modifying bombs dismantles them and returns the components back. To no, I think we're good. Smoke screen blinds victims and breaks people's line of sight. Eagle sense allows you to see your enemies through the smoke. It's very interesting. Tell me about your special bomb casings. Well, I have some sticky resin bags. My uncle Kamal had a wild fondness for them. During Bayezid's conflict with Venezia, he was a captain in the Ottoman Navy. He liked resin bombs because they stuck to almost any surface. The hulls of large ships, for instance. I lost many friends in that conflict. We all did, Ezio. And that war is why I became an assassin. I hate the artificial boundaries our leaders have built between people. We fight to end the fighting. It is a sad irony. It will always be an irony, Evette. But perhaps one day it will not be so sad. Use this wisely. Sticky, uh, sticky situations learn how to use a sticky bomb by killing three targets in the high security area without being detected <sighs> okay here we go splinter bombs oh what the hell okay so do we go here Wait, do I have to do it from here? Oh, because they don't even see you throw the bomb. Guards and those around them will not react. What? Fill a mission target with a bomb. Bomb challenges. Oh my god. Oh, come on. What the hell would I do? 
I should have just gotten out of there. Oh my god. I'm gonna hide here in the hay. Indeed, it seems That is most unusual. I guess maybe because I tried to run or something, my movement maybe gave me away. Oh, dude, that could have been an easy 100 sink. Fuck. I will. I will say that was pretty cool. <laughs> that bomb was pretty sick. So this is one of those like new main features within this game. The bombs. Looks like the story relies really heavy on them. That is pretty nice. I wonder if my assassins, the ones that we recruit, they ever. I wonder if they ever learn how to use the bombs themselves. That would be really helpful. Buongiorno, Merava. Please come in. Oh, excuse the clutter. I have not had time to tidy up since my trip. You sailed from Rhodes, no? See, si. how did you know? We were on the same ship. I am Ezio Auditore. Sofia Sartor. Have we met? We have now. May I have a look around? <laughs> Prego. Most of my best tomes are in the back. A familiar face. The Polo's former trading post may contain hints as to the location of the Masiaf Keys. Investigate the area to reveal any secrets. It is nice to meet another Italian in this district. Most keep to the Venetian Quarter and Galata. I assume the Ottoman war with Venezia would have driven most of you away. I lived here with my parents when I was a girl. The war pushed us out, but I always knew I would return. All right, cute story. I start to get to business. What is this? Hmm. Target located. Have you found anything interesting? Mio Dio! Who put that there? Incredibile. Where does it lead? Why don't we find out? Who are you, Messere? Only the most interesting man in your life. <laughs> oh, che presuntuoso. A presto, Sofia. I will return in a moment. The old age does not stop our friend here from being the woman slayer. <laughs> oh, is this our first tomb? Do you know how long we've been searching this filthy cistern? I've been here a few weeks. Thirteen months! Ever since the Grand Master found that damn key. But he hasn't got a clue what he's doing. All he knows is that somewhere in the city... This is a big city. Toxel. That's what I said. Back to your post, Aietes. Interesting. The Yerebatan... Yerebatan Cistern. The secret door in Sophia's shop has brought Ezio to an underground cistern filled with Templars. Investigate the cistern. But be careful. God, I didn't read the full sink either. Press B in midair before to execute a long jump. I'm a fucking idiot. I'm a Nice. Okay. So that's what I had to do. I didn't really have to go there. I just wanted to... I wanted to make sure that I could do that. This gunpowder offers a wide explosion on you to affect a large area with one bomb. Oh, wow. So now it's not just about the money when you loot these little boxes. Now you get bomb ingredients and parts. Quite interesting. Okay, so I'm actually gonna have to go up here. Let 
Yeah. I see what's happening. There it goes. Okay, that makes sense. Things down here. Well, there's a lot of freaking loot here. Oh, this is good. Salt of Petra. So we can craft even more bombs. Do I want do I want to craft more bombs? Let's see. Just pull up a workshop right in front of everything. You know, it's, it's, it's we totally don't have people there just <laughs> just trying to kill us. Hold on, let's see. Um, okay, so that's the only one that we could do because we had the ingredients for it. Look alive, huh? Pay you to watch the doors, not your feet. Should I throw a bomb at him? Let me see what type of bomb we have. We have the splinter bomb. Oh, shit. Nobody did. But now you die. That is great, dude. Okay, I think the captain is coming. Let's see if I can loot this real quick before he gets here. Can we, can we, can we, can we, can we? Yes. Alright, so he's gonna come over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just go somewhere else. Perfect. Oh, he's dead. He doesn't even know it's on him. <laughs> Open the cistern gate to gain access. Oh my god, that's hilarious. So what if we do So was this the uh But I think that's the smoke bomb. Isn't it? Yeah, that is a smoke bomb. Oh, that was so clutch. That was so clutch. <clears throat> so it's definitely going to be worth uh, crafting as many bombs as we possibly can, it looks like. All right, let's loot this up a little bit. We're going to craft more bombs. I really like those sticky bombs. It's kind of cool playing all these Assassin's Creed games back to back. And the reason I say that is because you kind of get to see where their mentality was. Like where Ubisoft's mentality was during every single one of these games. Like 
you see what things they've changed and what they upgraded and they, what they kept and took out. It's pretty cool. Um, so this is the one that blows up. Okay. Have another one of those. Not a bomb. Oh, and you get a lot of ingredients too. Okay, so now we head this way, possibly. Oh, I see up here. So I'm going to go and put this bomb for now. Petros, make sure we have enough torches for the excavation. I'm tired of stumbling around in the dark. Please don't get spotted. <gasps> nice. Tutura powder creates a lethal explosive designed to slowly poison anyone who breathes in the fumes. Oh shit. Including myself, perhaps. Okay, we're gonna be careful here. I've gotta be very careful. Holy crap. Well, that was cool. Get out of my sight now. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my god. I mean, if I get spotted, I really don't care, but it'd be cool to do this without getting spotted. It's not a big deal if we do, you know? <laughs> it's take this guy out I was about to call one of my assassins but I just realized we're like underground somewhere these guys don't know how to get here man these guys these guys are chumps compared to me nice Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Get. Yes. Oh my god, that actually worked out. Okay, so is this where we're supposed to be headed? Is it down there? I think that might actually lead to exactly the same place we were just at before coming up here. Let me see. Okay, yeah, it is because that's where we have to go. Oh well. <gasps> oh, I thought that was fucking deep water, dude. I'll tell you what. Give me an A for effort. Maybe a C for execution and style. But give me an A for effort. I thought the way out of here was up through there. But it wasn't. It was all the way down here all along. So that was just fucking stupid. But it's okay. We're learning. Learning how to use these bombs properly. As these bombs will be our best friends. I wish there was some sort of like um, shortcut to just craft the bombs. As opposed to having to go into one of these things. And then go into the menu like always. Thankfully it's pretty fast. Okay, so now our next destination is up there. And how do we get up there? We can go through here, maybe. Oof, fuck that. You know what? I was gonna go loot that little thing, but it's not even worth it. Let's get out of here. There is someone down here with us. Keep your eyes open. And your hands steady. Is that so? Use Eagle Sense to identify the Templar captain. Woo! Ok, 
Okay, so we're gonna stay on top of this. <laughs> Hopefully, we can take out this guy. Very nice. The question is, how do we kill this guy? Like that. Use the eagle sense to find any hidden secrets. This is starting to get a little bit longer than I was anticipating at first. This is like... Getting a little too fucking long right now. Let's find this damn secret and get the hell out of here. The secret right here. Target located. Interact. Cause that didn't make any noise at all, you know, that was totally, totally silence. Retrieve key. Ooh. Cool. <laughs> Let's go, baby. One out of five keys and a map acquired. So now what? And I'd be oh we did it hundred percent. Now what what how do we get out of here? Well, that just answered my question. Salve, Ezio. That took some time. What did you find? Something that may interest you. Mio Dio, che meraviglia! And here is my shop. Look at the margins. Strange symbols. And these are titles of books. Rare books. A few of these have not been seen for more than a millennium. Nicolo Polo hid these books around the city. These maps should tell us where. Hmm. You're beginning to interest me, vaguely. From what I can tell, I need to find these three books first. They may contain clues to locate the rest of these. Molto curioso. Another was found beneath Topkapa Palace, but there is still time to reach the others. Found by whom? Men who do not read. Sophia, can you decipher this map? Help me find these books. Can I borrow them when you are finished? <laughs> we will work something out. I sent some sort of uh, romance brewing, perhaps? I've got to be honest. I'm not sure if I 100% like what they've done with Ezio's character. As far as design. He looks a little bit weird. Yusuf. Salute. Piri told me I might see you here. Did you find what you were looking for? I believe so. This is one of Altair's five keys. A strange artifact. Ah, it is like nothing I have ever seen. We should keep it somewhere safe. At our headquarters, see. Si, I will. What brings you this way? I am coordinating with our allies today. The thieves in the bazaar, the mercenaries near the arsenal, and the Romanis in the Constantine district. You are spread a bit thin, Yusuf. Let me speak with the Romanis myself. I have had so little contact with them in the past. That would ease my mind. If you are in a hurry, you may travel by our network of tunnels. The air down there is a little foul, but the rats are no bigger than dogs. Have fun. <laughs> Grazie. <laughs> Alright guys, so we'll end it here. We've just unlocked the fast travel network. Um, we've just got one out of five keys, so I would assume that every single episode, depending just based on how long this game is, we might be unlocking a key or a different key, better yet, every single episode. But that's just speculation. 
anyhow thank you guys for watching i hope you guys liked it as always if you did drop it a like and i hope to catch you guys on the next video